Well, whether you've heard it on the news or social media, there's been so much talk about catalytic converter thefts. Well, yesterday, the suspects who stole a bunch of parts from a lot in Vail led police on a chase down I-70. Well, they eventually got away. Katie Weiss has been investigating this force, though, and Katie, you did have a chance to talk with Vail police. Karen, we're seeing a big uptick in these thefts here in the Denver Metro as well. Yet another small business hit by catalytic converter thieves, this time the Vail Mountain School. We had at least two suspects that we know of that uh, came to Vail and they targeted uh, three vehicles. Vail police now searching for these two suspects, saying this is the blue truck they were driving. Police believe these thieves are connected to other catalytic converter thefts in the Denver metro area. We're trying through uh, different investigative means to, to tie several of these incidents together that have happened down in the front range and all up through the mountain corridor. In Inglewood, Precision Seamless Gutter's fleet of trucks was hit a little over two weeks ago. I, I describe it as being punched. You, you get hit really quick and really hard, and it takes you a stumble, and uh, you got to shake it off. Now, the small business will have to scrap two trucks for parts and try to buy a new one. When I try and have a good perspective, well, everything happens for some reason, and maybe these people who are doing this, they just are more desperate than I am. A catalytic converter is a part that reduces toxic emissions from a car's exhaust. Thieves sell it for the special metal inside. Vail police are now planning a community event to etch VIN numbers into residents' converters, hoping that will help deter future thieves. Um, the issue is, is catalytic converters aren't marked by the manufacturer, so when you remove it from the vehicle, they're really is no serial number to determine who owns that or, or how to, to determine if it's stolen. And the Inglewood business tells me it's planning to etch VIN numbers into all of its other catalytic converters and its other vehicles and says that it wants to perform that service for other small businesses in the community and says it will do it for anybody else who needs it done. In Denver, I'm Katie Weiss covering Colorado First.